Hi, I'm Jessie. Welcome to the Mossy River. I felt really called today to do a reading for collective energy. Um, I have my charms here. So we're going to pull some charms. I got um, Oracle, Tarot, all the good stuff. So I also have my water and a little snack with me. So if I have to take a little snack break, don't be mad. <laughs> you get it, right? <laughs> okay, so um, where it is, there it is. Let's get started. Um, I want to start with taking a deep breath, but this is just, um, this is a breath that I read about today and I did it a couple times and it feels really good. So if you want to do it with me, I would love that. No pressure though. Um, so what we're going to do is this is like an orca breath. So we're going to Inhale deep as you can through your nose, hold it for four seconds, and then blow it out like, like kind of like hard and fast, okay? And set the intention to inhale joy, peace, and love, and exhale fear, anxiety, and doubt, okay? That felt good. Okay. Ancestors, angels, guides, divine. Please be with me now to help deliver messages to the collective. Please give me the words to be true, clear, decise, decise. Is that a word? <laughs> I don't think that's a word. <laughs> Decisive. <laughs> um, please let these messages resonate with who they're meant to resonate with. Please let these messages help people change something in their lives for the better, for their highest and greatest good and the greatest good of all. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your love. Okay. All right, let's pull some charms. I'm gonna move you down a bit so you can see. All right, let's see what is going on with collective energy. What do we need to know about collective energy? What do we need to hear about collective energy? What what circumstances in our lives need to be brought to the light, need to be brought to our consciousness so that we can be self-aware and move through love and peace. Okay, we got a lot of tarot cards. I have these little mini, little baby ones. All right, what do we have here? All right, so the first one I saw was Judgment. You can see that. I don't know if it's gonna focus. So we have judgment, we have the star, the hermit, strength, and the magician. We have this little unicorn. The 
little sweet candy and a flower. All right, let me just sit with this just for a minute. I feel like many of us, the hermit is really standing out to me right now. I feel like many of us are in a period of isolation right now. We're in a we're in a period of um, solitude, where maybe we're not. I just got this the same message last night too. Like we're not being super social right now. We're just kind of sticking to ourselves, doing our own thing. Um, and I feel like there's a lot of healing that is, that is going on during this period of isolation and solitude. There's a lot of, um, recognition of all the obstacles and trials and tribulations that we've already overcome, all the wounds that we've already healed and integrated. And through the recognition of the progress that we've made so far comes more healing, comes more hope and peace and love being instilled in us, um, in us and for us. I feel like there's, if there's not already, there needs to be a, a sort of um, not only recognition, but a celebration of self and all the, all the things that we've accomplished, how far we've come. All the magic that we have welcomed in, welcomed into our own lives. And this, there's this, uh, there's this feeling of appreciation for the things that we've lost or the things that we have released. Noticing this one missing petal here. There's this appreciation for the things that we have lost, the things that have ended, the things that we've released, because they've shown us our own power, our own beauty, our own magic in, in healing ourselves, in healing others in continuing to find the beauty in everything through those losses and through those endings and really recognizing our own power and our own strength and our own magic. And I feel like there's during this period of isolation, there's really this opportunity for sweetness. There's really this opportunity for loving on yourself harder than ever before. Just a lot of appreciation for self and all the shit we've been through and how we still came out on the other side. We still came out on top, a better person with more knowledge, more wisdom, more experience, more love in our hearts, more love to give to ourselves and to others. So that's a really beautiful message. Thank you, Spirit, to start out with. So now let's pull... Um, 
pull an oracle. And see what else the divine wants to talk to us about when it comes to collective energy. Sadness. It's kind of like, it's kind of like an oxymoron. Um, I feel like this, at this period in time, while there is Okay, so in this period of time, I feel like we actually, and and I can actually relate to this myself in my personal life, there has been some sadness happening. There has been some grief, some sorrow, um, some some either some things happening or just some feelings coming up from the past, whatever it may be, that are causing us to feel... Um, a little down or a little uh, out of sorts and that's okay you know we can't always be like <laughs> these bubbly happy people all the time right like these kind of feelings are natural and necessary and I just made a, a video about that check that out um, if you haven't seen it already um, it's all about feeling our emotions and, you know, the harm it can cause to suppress them and how valuable it is to allow ourselves to feel our emotions. So I feel like this period of solitude, there there is some, some feels that need to be felt, you know, and that's okay. That's necessary. But at the same time, back to like the oxymoron thing, although there's these feelings of sadness and sorrow and grief, there is a huge opportunity to see the beauty in that. See the, the love that goes hand in hand with sadness. See the power that you hold to be able to feel feel these intense feelings and experience these intense things and still be such a loving and caring person even through all that. There's really this opportunity for you to see the power that you hold and the magic that is you because not everybody like I guess there's no other cards that want to come out I'm gonna shuffle one more time and see but not everybody can feel these intense feelings and experience these intense things and gain wisdom from it or gain a different perspective from it or come out of it um, you know a better person some people get and understandably so some people get caught up in it and stuck in it because it's really hard it's really hard so if you are a person that has experienced some really intense things in your life Maybe some, you know, really intense traumas or whatever. And even after that, no matter, you know, no matter how long the process was, even after that, if you came out of it seeing things in a different light, 
and having love and compassion for yourself and others even after that, like that is a huge thing. That it that is huge. And if nobody has ever told you that before, it is. That is a huge accomplishment and I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you because that is hard work to do that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> My throat just got really dry and itchy. So, <clears throat> and I'm being drawn to the blue in this flower. Um, throat chakra could be a big thing that is um, being healed right now at, during this time, during this period of solitude. Um, and now we have rest and actually this green and that blue are reminding me of throat and heart chakra so like <laughs> this is so funny because this really goes hand in hand with the the channeled message that I just uh recorded before this video so these feelings of grief and sadness or whatever whatever kind of feelings they are right it even could be anger it, maybe it could be joy whatever the the intense emotions that you're feeling right now those those can be very heart-centered right like emotions are very tied to our heart but the way we express those emotions that expression is very throat chakra so it's like the and right they're right next to each other right they're they're linked all chakras are they're not separate they're all one system yes they are different you know points but they're all connected so making sure to honor the emotions and feelings that we have in our heart by giving ourselves the safe space and time to let ourselves express them. Whether it's through crying, whether it's through singing, whether it's through speaking, whether it's through writing, you know, whatever, whatever it is for you, whatever works best for you. Um, and with rest here, I think a lot of us, because we're experiencing a lot of intense feelings and emotions right now this period of solitude is a really big opportunity <clears throat> for us to not only see our own power and magic but to rest because it's through that rest that we can gain clarity of mind clarity of heart and be able to see how far we've come be able to see our own magic and power and after we've you know felt our intense feelings and then rested then is when we can celebrate ourselves for how gracefully we have moved through uncomfortability All right, Spirit, what else? We got the star again. I feel like many of us may be feeling this opportunity to, you know, celebrate ourselves and our own our, our own magic and power. But I think also maybe many of us are feeling are feeling are not feeling that. <laughs> I don't, my words aren't coming to me right now. Um many of us are just having these intense feelings and um, maybe just thinking, 
you know, this is a really hard time. Um, this sucks. I feel sad. I feel bad. Um, but then not like recognizing the opportunity for hope, the opportunity for healing. So I think the, div the divine is really wanting to point out this opportunity to you. That although we may be experiencing a lot of intense and maybe even dense emotions right now, there is a huge opportunity for peace and healing and love and appreciation for yourself. That is a, that's like the biggest, um, That's like the biggest message I feel like that is coming through right now is the love and appreciation of self. Because yes, I know many of us have a great support system, but many of us don't, you know, not everybody, whether you do or don't have other people that, you know, support you through these kinds of times, we all always have ourselves. Who is the one person through every single event in your life, through every single feeling you've ever had, through every single hardship, through every single, uh, <clears throat> you know, monumental moment, through everything, who is the one person that was always with you? And there for you, there to pick you back up, there to keep you going. It was you. So there's really, the divine is really asking us to celebrate ourselves for that and love on ourselves for how committed we've been to ourselves because that is so important. And yes, being committed to the betterment of the collective, of the planet, of humanity, of the cosmos, of all, that's important too. But you can't do that unless you're committed to yourself, unless you appreciate yourself, unless you love on yourself first. This journey that we've been on, it's been a long one. It's taken a lot of effort. It's taken a lot of, you know, assessing and then reassessing and, you know, changing our habits, changing our, the way we communicate, changing our inner dialogue. You know, we're, we're constantly tending to ourselves. And that is something to be proud of. That's something to be grateful for. That's something to give yourself appreciation for because that is the journey of being a better person. That is the journey of spiritual growth. That is the journey of personal development. It's, it's always coming back and reassessing where you are and making necessary changes to evolve and elevate yourself to be the best and truest version of you that you can be. And now is the time to reap what you have sown, so to speak. 
celebrate yourself for all that work that you've been doing and that you will continue to do because that's your life's journey. At least if, if, you know, take what resonates, but if you're watching this, I feel like you're a person who's very committed to your spiritual growth and to your personal development. So you can break generational curses so that you can not only better yourself, but hopefully leave leave this planet knowing that you left behind this energy that is going to help that is going to keep helping propel keep helping to propel us toward the direction of love and peace Oops. Yeah, you've done a lot of work like sorting out the truths and untruths that you tell yourself and that other people tell you and that society tells you. You've done a lot of like clearing of the clutter, of the lies, of the facade, of the masks and seeing through seeing through the facade and getting to the truth. And this is a time for you, even though you may be going through more intense emotions, I feel like I'm speaking to a collective that knows that has experience in this, right? And knows how to honor their feelings and emotions, but at the same time can have this perception and have this clarity of mind and heart that sees um, even through, through the intense emotions how much work they have done to better themselves. And it's time for you to celebrate that. Yeah. So you have the Ace of Ray Guns and the Ace of Discs. That's um, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So I think the Divine is asking you to recognize that truth about yourself how hard you work how far you've come how much wisdom and knowledge that you have gained and that there's no turning back you are you know who you are you know you're going to keep going on this path and continue to gain knowledge and wisdom and so the divine wants you to recognize that and do something for yourself give something to yourself to honor that about you, to celebrate that about you. And that doesn't mean like you have to go spend a bunch of money if that's not where you're at or what you want. If you do, you know, that's your choice. To, but um, yeah, like spend your money if you want to, <laughs> if you feel called to. But you don't have to do that, right? Like you could celebrate yourself by, you know, setting time aside for yourself to take a long hot bath or um go for a long walk in the woods or write write a love note to yourself you know whatever whatever you feel called to do you know it's personal how how you would celebrate yourself but all i'm saying is if spending money on yourself isn't the way you want to do that you, it's certainly not a not a necessity Ten of 
kind of probes. Yeah, I feel like you're... In a space where... You're just done with the bullshit. <laughs> is what I'm hearing. You're done with the bullshit. You're <clears throat> allowing yourself to honor and feel your feelings, but you're not going to take on anything that does not belong to you. You're not going to take on anything extra that you don't need to take on. Eight of Wands on the bottom. And that is also a celebration, I would say. <laughs> like deciding, or a cause for celebration. Deciding that you're not gonna be about the bullshit anymore. That you're not going to hold on to things that don't belong to you. That you're not going to accept anything less than what you deserve. You're laying down that burden and that is a huge cause for celebration. And Spirit saying, yes, celebrate yourself. Whether it's just like looking in the mirror and, and saying the, these positive affirmations to yourself or whatever you want to do, do that. Go do it now because you deserve it. You have come so far. You have done so much hard work. And even though we may be in this period of solitude and isolation and heavy, you know, there might be some heaviness surrounding us right now. We can still celebrate the good things that we have done for ourselves. We can still honor ourselves and love ourselves and recognize how far that, how far we have come. I feel like that's, yeah, I feel like that's the end of that message. Um, so yes, whether, whether you're feeling, you know, a little heavy right now, if you're feeling some grief, sadness, anxiety, anger, whatever it is, give yourself the time and space to honor those feelings, express those emotions, but make sure you're also giving yourself the time and space to recognize your accomplishments and just love on yourself just love on yourself celebrate yourself celebrate celebrate how far you've come celebrate the work that you've done so far and the work that you will continue to do just love on yourself and get excited for the future because i feel like even though we may be in a bit of a dense time right now. The future feels very... The, the future is full of possi possibility. The future is full of peace and lightness and happiness and joy if that's what you make it. And, you know, judging by this, it seems like that's, that's, what, that's exactly what you're doing. So... I'm proud of you. Keep going. Love on yourself. Give yourself some, some much needed you time and celebration. Be sweet to yourself. And I will see you in the next one. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you want to book a reading with me, you can go to themossyriver.com and book a reading there. There's also links to Venmo and Cash App and um, buy me a coffee if you want to do that. Not necessary, but must much appreciated if you do. And yeah, I'll see you later. Boop!